Hey everybody, Katie and Ben here from Reorigin, and today we're going to talk a little bit about NSDR. So, uh, NSDR, well, Ben, what does NSDR even stand for? What is NSDR <laughs> really? <laughs> so, NSDR stands for non sleep deep rest. It's a term coined by Dr. Andrew Huberman. And it really stems from an ancient practice, old practice that dates back thousands of years called yoga nidra. And essentially it is a form of progressive muscle relaxation along with some body scanning and body awareness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is a really great tool, you guys, very similar to, to yoga nidra, a tool uh, for managing stress. It's really great for improving your sleep. Um, and also it's a great thing to do in the middle of the day if you're feeling kind of like that post-lunch lull. Uh, you can do an NSDR and you can really just feel sharper, more focused, better cognitive function. Um, so it's an awesome tool to just kind of clear your, clear your mind overall. We're going to talk about the, the, the protocol or like a suggested protocol that a lot of people uh, use for NSDR, but we will really want to dive just like into the, the benefits of it, why it's important, um, where you can practice it and, and all that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah. And just yeah. to let you know on this channel, we do have a lot of NSDR like or yoga Nidra like videos that guide you through this so you can actually experience it for yourself. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I will say this was a real game changer for me when I started using this and, and I started learning that I could actually regenerate and replenish my energy intraday or throughout the day. Because prior to that, when I was going through my own healing and recovery journey, I remember waking up on many days if I hadn't slept well and almost mentally writing off the day, yeah. feeling like, oh, you know, yeah. all right, I'm gonna have to just sort of get through this and then hopefully I'll sleep better tonight and tomorrow I'll wake up feeling better than I do today. But when you start to learn that you can actually replenish, regenerate throughout the day or during the day, um, that's a really powerful thing. And this is a very powerful and a precise way that you can do that. Yeah, yeah. research has actually shown that um, a, a standard like 30 minutes, I think 30 minute session of NSDR can be equivalent to um, like two to three hours of sleep. Now, we're not saying to, to not get enough sleep or like stay up all night and then just do NSDR, but it can be really helpful, especially if you're someone who maybe naps um, every single day or, or feels like they need a nap every single day. It can be really helpful to, to um, replace the nap with, with NSDR to give you more of that, that revitalization for, for the day. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So Katie, explain to us, walk us through like what is an NSDR protocol? What does it look like in practice? Where can people find more? you know, guided versions and when we'll get into talking about some of the benefits. Yeah. So as Ben said, NSDR is deeply connected to the, the ancient practice of yoga nidra. Uh, we have a yoga nidra for sleep. We also have like a sleep uh, meditation body scan, which in NSDR body scanning is a piece of it. So we can link those in the in this video um, below. So you guys have access to those. Um, but a typical NSDR session, the protocol would look something like starting by finding yourself in a very comfortable position. It's usually recommended to practice on your back, but uh, if you'd rather, you know, sit on a comfortable couch, that's absolutely okay too. So finding that really deeply comfortable position. Um, and then the first thing that you're going to start with is focusing on your breath, right? Because we all know that breath is such a powerful tool to engage that relaxation response, right? We can use our breath to kind of control the states, the states that our brain is in. So you're just gonna start off closing your eyes if that's comfortable and just bringing some awareness to your breath. You don't have to do anything about it. You don't have to change it. You don't have to do anything differently, but just notice as you're inhaling and exhaling. I actually really like to um, in my mind say I am breathing in when I'm exhaling and I am breathing out because then when I'm when I'm verbalizing that in my mind it can help shut down that that monkey mind that rumination um, and then from there you're going to engage in something called breath counting so usually you might start at the number 20 and then all the way down to the number zero you're going to count your inhales and exhales so what you might do is you might say 20, I am breathing in, 20, I am breathing out, and then you know continue to go all the way down. 
to zero. And something that's really, really valuable is each exhale you take, you want to feel like you're getting heavier and more and more sleepy. The really, unloading effect. Yes, just, <laughs> yeah. re just releasing uh, the day. Um, and then after you do that, you might shift into kind of a body scan activity. And again, uh, if you're not exactly sure what a body scan is, you can use that, that body scan video that we'll link below. But essentially what you're doing with a body scan is you're slowly moving your awareness through various parts of your body. And each time you notice a part of your body, you're just feeling even more relaxed. You don't have to move the part of your body. You don't have to shift it or change it. You're just noticing it. I like to go from bottom up. Some people like to go top down. So what I would start with is like, the soles of my feet and then the top of my feet and just like all those kind of like major body parts you're just noticing them and, and scanning um that's it's so helpful and it also is really helpful in building a better mind body connection which we have a youtube video on that we talk about so um you'll go into the body scan and then after your body scan you might um engage in like a really relaxing visualization, right? So thinking about the, your favorite place you've ever visited or being around friends and family, whatever really helps you feel calm and at ease. One of my favorite things to visualize is me in my big comfy chair that I have in my living room. My dog is cuddled next to me. I'm reading a book and I'm drinking tea. Like just visualizing yourself being, being so at ease and so, at peace and then just make sure that when you do that you're engaging all of your senses uh, if you're not great at visualization you could um, even I mean saying it saying it out loud you know very just gently can be really helpful or you could always kind of like bring really gentle music in or just something else that's really gonna um, help you relax more deeply and then after that you might fully fall asleep uh, which is which is okay um, but eventually you'll just kind of like bring yourself back to the present moment. Uh, one of my favorite ways to do that is, is just starting with like rubbing, uh, the pad of my thumb to each of the pads of my fingers. And then you might like roll your wrists out, wiggle your fingers, roll your ankles and toes, and just gently bring back that full awareness to your body. So that would be kind of like the general protocol. You might do this over 15, 20, 30 minutes. Um, yeah, that's, that's what it would be like. <laughs> yeah. Some interesting characteristics that I've uh, heard about and sort of played around with, and I've found them to be effective is that one, uh, one of them is once you've gone over a certain body part, let's say you've started at your, your feet and you've kind of tuned into them and you've scanned them and then you've kind of relaxed them and then moved on and upward. Once you've moved on from that body part, you want to try not to move them so that you don't bring your awareness, your senses back to it. If you do happen to twitch or move it, like that's fine, of course, but we want to try and kind of leave that part behind. And what happens is sequentially, as you move up or down the, the chain, um, more and more, we just feel that incredible stillness. And another one that um, I've tried is um, actually just telling yourself in, in your mind, repeating, uh, let's say if it's, you know, your legs that you just finished saying, my legs are heavy, my legs are heavy, my legs are heavy, my legs are heavy. And then like four times, then moving on to the next part, my arms are heavy, my arms are heavy, my arms are heavy, my arms are heavy. Yeah. Yeah. And it's interesting, like when we, when we say that internally, even it actually tends to, at least I've found that it really does actually relax the tension uh, in those areas and helps us kind of leave them behind and regenerate on a deeper level. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Um, and another, another thing that you could add in, you know, Ben loves this is, is the progressive muscle relaxation. So as you're doing your body scan, right, noticing your toes, maybe you would like curl your toes. So you would get that activation of the muscles in the toes. And then once you move on from the toes, you can completely relax them. And then adding in the heaviness and, and leaving, leaving that behind is, is just something that you can kind of add to the mix. You do really want to make this your own. There's just specific activities that you would include in, in the practice. Yeah, yeah. 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 So what I like to do, I think the best way to learn is to just go along with a guided one mm -hmm. for the first several times. Yep. Uh, again, we have many guided ones on this channel, even more in the Reorigin program. So if you go to our playlist that's follow along exercises, you'll see all of those there. Listen to them, go through them, experience it for yourself and leave your thoughts in the comments below.